following program is a production of KUSC Los Angeles. been an opportunity to live in one place and work with many of the same musicians from month to month and develop areas of subtleties with these musicians that you can't always when you're traveling from town to town and working with different people. For conductor Samuel Chrysler, the opportunity of working with Sinfonia San Francisco began with the orchestra's very first concert in 1981. Over the past seven years, the Sinfonia, under his guidance, has become a highly acclaimed and tightly knit musical unit. Maintaining an ongoing working relationship with a group makes it possible for Mr. Chrysler to program the sort of challenging works which we'll hear on this concert, works which require the greatest precision and discipline from the ensemble. Actually, Samuel Chrysler won't be conducting the first piece on our program, but he will be an active participant. He'll play first cello in Mendelssohn's Octet in E-flat for strings. On the second half of the concert, Mr. Chrysler will pick up the baton once again to conduct Stravinsky's tale of a fiddling soldier who sells his soul to the devil, L'Histoire du Soldat. Welcome to the fourth and final program in this series of broadcast concerts by Sinfonia San Francisco. I'm Gail Eichenthal. Felix Mendelssohn led a charmed existence as a child. He traveled to Paris when he was seven, enjoyed the luxury of private tutors in music, classical languages, and landscape painting, and by the ripe old age of 12, he was already hobnobbing with the likes of Goethe. Mendelssohn's mother regularly sent out handwritten invitations for musicales at their home, and it was at these gatherings that Felix made youthful debuts as pianist, violinist, composer, and, standing on a stool in order to be seen, conductor. In 1825, when the family moved to a 10-acre estate on the more rural outskirts of Berlin, the number of dramatic performances, literary readings, and Sunday concerts at home steadily increased. Soon the Mendelssohn household enjoyed a reputation as the most important salon in that crucially important cultural center. When they weren't busy studying or performing, the Mendelssohn children loved to play in the large park-like gardens of their new home where, shaded by trees, they'd talk and dream for hours. It was in this idyllic setting that Mendelssohn conceived the octet for strings when he was only 16. Yet it was hardly the work of a neophyte. Besides several concertos, operas, cantatas, and much piano music, he'd already written a dozen string symphonies by this time. One of the teenage Mendelssohn's abiding interests, in fact, was experimenting with combinations of stringed instruments. His octet represented a confident leap into musical maturity and is doubtless the most remarkable score ever produced by a 16-year-old. Let's hear it now, performed by members of Sinfonia San Francisco. Violinists Roy Milan, Barbara Riccardi, Stefan Hirsch, and Zoya Laban, violists Geraldine Walter and Allison Avery, with conductor Samuel Chrysler deserting the podium to play the cello along with Thalia Moore. The opening work on this concert, the Octet in E-flat, Opus 20, Music of the Young Felix Mendelssohn.
The octet in E-flat, opus 20, music of the 16-year-old Felix Mendelssohn, a piece which remained a favorite of the composers even in later years, as it has remained one of the most beloved works in the chamber repertory since Mendelssohn's time. Eight members of Sinfonia San Francisco sharing the limelight in that opening work on this concert from the Herbst Theater. All eight players pursue active musical careers around the Bay Area, besides performing in the Sinfonia. Roy Milan, for example, is concertmaster and solo violinist with the San Francisco Ballet Orchestra. He is also the Sinfonia's concertmaster. Stefan Hirsch serves as concertmaster of both the San Francisco Chamber Orchestra and the Vallejo Symphony, while Zoya Laban has been a violinist with the San Francisco Symphony for the past eight seasons. Violinist Barbara Riccardi regularly presents her own recitals at various venues in the Bay Area. Violist Geraldine Walther won the 1979 William Primrose International Competition. She has served as the principal violist of the San Francisco Symphony for more than a decade. When Allison Avery isn't busy leading the viola section of the Symphonia San Francisco, she performs as a member of the Altamar Trio and as assistant principal viola with the San Francisco Opera Orchestra. Her colleague, Thalia Moore, is currently assistant principal cellist with the Opera Orchestra. Samuel Chrysler, conductor of Sinfonia San Francisco, appeared as first cellist in the performance we just heard before becoming the founding artistic director of this ensemble and devoting his energies to conducting. Mr. Chrysler himself played in the cello section of the San Francisco Opera Orchestra and prior to that served as principal cello of the Rochester Philharmonic. You're listening to the final program in a series of four broadcast concerts by Sinfonia San Francisco. On the second half of the program, Samuel Chrysler will return to his usual role as conductor for Igor Stravinsky's colorful L'Histoire du Soldat, The Soldier's Tale. Actor Scott Beach, a prominent Bay Area radio personality in the wee hours of the morning, will join the ensemble as narrator in this lively piece of musical theater. But first, we take this opportunity to pause for station identification.